Hey guys, my name is Cediac and welcome back to another episode of City Bus Manager where we are continuing to build the biggest and the best electric bus company San Francisco has ever seen. Now in the last episode boys, I did something kind of foolish. I decided to build like a super really, really, really long kind of bus route which has sucked up so many of my buses to the point where I needed to buy an additional 18 buses it's not just that route that was having the issues. I kind of changed the intervals and the timings on a lot of my buses right now. And, um, or my routes, I should say, which all the routes have just determined to need more buses in general. Now, I want you guys to kind of help me out here right now. We do have uh, uh, one of the goals right now is to improve punctuality from my current 5.4 minutes down to my 4.7 minutes right now i want to know what is the best way in which i can do that is there something that i can do within my bus routes if i go to like route one right now and edit the timetable uh do i need to go into i don't know advanced settings is there something that i need to change to kind of increase it or add it a bit better uh i'm sure somebody said there's something to do with i can add a delay which could mean that the buses get there or kind of, I don't know what it is. If there's something I can do, boys, let me know in the comment section down below and hopefully we can kind of get that sorted. Now, in the last episode, we bought so many buses that I had to kind of build these additional parking spots right now, which is kind of annoying, but we can slowly start to get rid of some because we're going to try and research the best articulated and then understand, boys, which will start right now, if we, one, have the best, if not, buy the best which is going to cost me a gazillion dollars in the bank and i'm probably going to cry but welcome back to another episode anyway boys we're currently going for the process right now of upgrading all our buses to have the premium seats that's going to really increase our rating uh with the travel comfort as well and i've got the best of the best then in every single bus uh you won 55 grand oh thank you <laughs> this is a good start to the episode <laughs> So we've just actually researched our first articulated, and it's the Isitaro e G. Now, if we go to buy a new bus, uh, articulated, we currently have the Lion buses, which have 120 passengers, and 60 of those have seated. Oh, wow, the Isitaro e G is a lot bigger. Doesn't have as many seat, uh, seated, but is a bigger bus. Okay, that's huge. Holy moly. Right, let's research the final articulated right now. I didn't realize how quick that we're going to get those researched right now. Uh, guys, can we can we research the next one super quick as well? Like you just did the first one? Uh, appreciate that right now. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, they're tearing through this. There's more researchers on the way right now, which is speeding up the process. Oh, they're getting this done so quick. This was a lot quicker than I was expecting them to get it done. Oh, is this enough? I've got one more money. No? Okay. So the BYD 18E bus, what is this one like now? So buy a new bus, articulated. It is not bigger than the Isitaro G, but it does contain 65 seats. Now, I'm in a bit of a predicament now, okay, boys? Because on one hand, we can increase the capacity of our articulateds and having 146 passengers, but... The number of seats is 41. Now, you may be wondering why is that an issue, and that's because, in details, one of my ratings is enough free seats. Just because the capacity is big doesn't mean we have big capacity. People want to sit down on a bus. So having an articulated with... Uh, basically, that, that... Yo, I've just realized that right now. So this bus here, 146, right? 100 people have to stand up on the bus crazy right so i've got the option of maybe going down the byd route where it's 65 seats which is the most seating capacity of any of the articulateds but also carries 130 passengers which is 16 less of that 10 more of what i've currently got now double deckers the best double decker is the electroliner which has 74 seated um but it has 96 passengers in total capacity so you can't really move as many people so it's it's a tough one, isn't it? It's like, do you go down the route of buying articulated for the higher capacity, but less seating options, which really surprises me. It really does surprise me. 
I'm not sure which route to go down, but I think if I was to go down and get in more articulated, I'll go for the BYD ones. Just because of the more seating capacity. Again, not as much seating as the electro liners, but it's not far off. It's not far off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy a total of four of these. So buy four. We need to kind of give them a brand new color scheme right now. Oh, this is crazy. Look at the, the humps and bumps, boys. It looks kind of cool, doesn't it? So colors, primary colors, neon green. And then we need to add the decals of the Sediac logo, baby. All right, Sediac logo one. Make it a bit smaller. Um, we'll add one then just here. On this side, we'll add it here and we'll add it just there. Any room on the back? Of course there is, boys. Any room on the front? I could maybe put it at the very top, which is hilarious. And we'll save this right now. We'll save this and it will be known as E Folio. Save locally. Nice. And apply. So, brand new buses. We are going to have to put them in the articulated spot. So, just wait for them to now kind of come in. And, oh, did I, they, they should be fully upgraded, right? They should be fully upgraded. There shouldn't be any issues with those. Are they fully? Yeah, they are fully upgraded. So, assign a parking spot. So, assign you to there. Here's another one. We'll assign to here. There's two more now missing out on. Here's one assigned to there. And where's the last one? Oh, it's right there. It's right in front of my face. Assigned to there. So we've got the those articulated assigned to here anyway. We will buy some more as time goes on. It could mean that I could sell four of the... Uh, okay, it's a better penalty. Uh, I could uh, sell four of the double-deckers. Or... Do I slowly get rid of the solos? Hmm. Now, the solos that I've currently got is the 7900s. 95 passengers, of which 39 can sit down. Ooh. Hold on. 95, the double decker only carries 96, but has 74 sitting down. So I could, in reality, replace the solos with the double deckers. Have the same, roughly the same amount of capacity on the buses, but the seating capacity is a lot higher. It's like there's, there's not one bus that is foolproof for everything I need it to do, is there? It's every bus has got their own benefits. Yeah, look at the uh, service center. We did try and increase and improve it. And and somewhat right now, it isn't too bad. Look at the, the, the wait time. Look at the amount of people coming in. We are chomping through it. Um, so I think with an increase of a mobile app, with also the ability to reduce the ticket prices and stop them complaining, we could manage to can kind of control that. Right, I, need, I kind of need to make a decision, don't I? I need to make a decision what I'm doing with these solos. Hmm. What would you guys do? I'm going to let you guys give me some inspiration. What would you guys do in my situation for electric buses? Do I completely go down only having one type of bus? Or do I have a mixture between articulated and double deckers? Should I replace all of my solos with double deckers? You know what I mean? I'm not too sure which road to go down. If you guys could let me know in the comment section, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, so for now, we'll kind of leave it as it is. We'll go to our shift scheduling, and tomorrow we'll automatically assign... Actually, we'll reset and assign... Automatically assign drivers. So we've got a few more buses to do a few more things. Not a problemo. Not a problemo. Uh, okay, so we currently got to sell uh, 113,000 tickets. I'll reduce of the punctuality is almost there it might actually get done on the weekend where there's less buses scadooling around i also don't know if i've got enough bus stops at the same time right now while we're waiting anyway boys let's do some more expansions and upgrades to and basically kind of get back on building our 
Beautiful, boys. Beautiful. Uh, depot. We got. We still got so many more expansions we got to do. Now we do need some more doors still. So a door's got to go there and there, and a door just there. We then need to sort out more of these shelves. So one, two, one, two. That completely messed up. One, two. <laughs> Put you there, and then that goes there. So build warehouse. We can extend over by one more again. And then we'll put the doors in. Now, is there another door that kind of comes into it? No, it's just those doors, isn't it? Yeah. And then this becomes the... It, it technically becomes a hallway, weirdly. It does technically become a hallway. But that's where we're going to have the other mechanic lift stuff in. Which we'll get onto that a little bit later. Um, back to the warehouse, that door. What's going on with this door now? There we go. All sorted. Right, run this down. Run this down. So we've mimicked it. And now we've got the warehouses pretty much all set up. Um, No. Oh, I do want to sell a 7900, maybe. I just got 75 grand for it. How much could I sell a 7900 for? Oh, I just got a good price for that. I just got a good price for that, but I'm also missing a parking space now. Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Right, what I'm also going to do next, right, is order a bunch of replacement parts. So I'm going to order lots of what we need. I know this is expensive, but we do need a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to get it... Because I'm spending 53000 we'll get it delivered... No, we're going to do it at 9 a.m. where we got most of our staff in. So that will fill more of our warehouses now all up. And then for the streets, we'll get the big lifting platform implemented. And then the small lifting platform also implemented. There we go. And the last thing I've got to do is just trim the building. Just like that. Okay, we've got to do it in sections then, by the looks of it. Fine. I'll do it in sections. Uh, just so we can get some outdoor hedges in. That's literally all it's for. Beautiful. Still got lots more that we got to do still, but this makes a big dent into what I do need to get done. So, time jump to the next point i can time jump to <laughs> any bus is currently broken we do have a broken bus which we're gonna quickly fix repair just need some new brake pads get that all sorted right now which is really good so we're back on top of it boys we still gotta add more decoration stuff to the area now what is my environmental bonus it's 58 percent we still got a lot we've got to get done unknown caller we need a bus immediately uh, decline. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get some trees in now, boys. So outdoor, we'll get some trees in. So I'm not sure what trees I did originally get in. Um, is it pine one? No. Is it even a pine? Is it a large? Is it a large this one? It's not a birch. It's definitely this one, isn't it? No. No. Wait, what tree is that? Pine? Is it you? It is you, okay. I had to figure out then for a second what it was. So if I get this now implemented here, so I go one there. Uh, one. 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 Do the same over here real quick. I'm now just adding in a couple of trees to start making some progress on making this place look a little bit more beautiful. Now, didn't get anything over there, but that's okay. That is okay. We'll dot in some trees down here. A random assortment, even though I'm going to now slightly move some. 
random assortment of trees there. We'll get some plants and stuff down. And what was the other thing I got next to it? It was a... Okay, I'm, I'm going to do some, like, taller trees next to them. Just so it look a bit nice. We'll do something a little bit different over in this area. Some taller trees. How does that look? It looks nicer, doesn't it? It does look nicer. Right, okay. Very good, boys. Very good, very good, very good. So from 58, we increased it to still 58. <laughs> we still got a long way to go. Still got a very, very long way to go. Um, okay. Very good, very good, very good. So the bus is now scheduled now. And what can I potentially now research that will be of anywhere, anyway, some point of a benefit? More efficient uh, photo systems. Yes. Let's research that. Um, we do need to think about upgrading the bus stops and maybe expanding the map as well. So we'll upgrade the bus stops next and then we actually then need to think about actually going and actually upgrading the bus stops. But we'll play a bit of the waiting game right now and kind of hold out slightly. So this is a sun uh, Saturday, sorry. So not much stuff happens today. We won't make anywhere near the amount of money that we usually make. So it's, it's a good kind of day to kind of uh, get some work done in many ways. One of the things I want to do is up my production in electricity. So should I maybe add the photo systems to all of these? Or do I expand the premises one more time? I think we should mainly focus on doing what we can do here first. So outdoor, these photovoltaic systems, if I went from there to there, where, how close do I get to? Let me redo that to oh, there. And put that back in, sorry. So going all the way up. Where does that go? Yeah, I'm going to go all the way to there. Right, this is a lot of money. But this should rapidly increase my electricity production. Right, it's going to put me in a bit of debt. But that's okay. Hedges. All the way down. Might as well bulk it up, right boys? Might as well bulk it up. Get some of these larger trees in. There we go. Some pines in. Noise. I'll get a load of little plants dotted around in the middle. That is a huge expansion right now, solar panels. And it's upped it only just it's only upped it just under 4,000 kilowatts. I'm telling you right now, the photovoltaic systems, whatever you want to call them, they produce so much electricity compared to those little weak solar panels. But uh, I'm now self-producing, but I'm also still buying. I at least want to get to the point where I'm producing as, you know, more than I need to buy at that single point. I want to get to the point where when I'm producing, I'm not buying. That's what I want to do. And it's quite difficult to get to that point. It really is. It really is. So we do have more efficient systems right now. That researching has been done, I believe. Uh, yes. Yes, it has. So they're now producing the maximum that they can produce. We're still buying, and we're still buying in rapid numbers. So it just shows you that. I don't think you can get net neutral. These just don't produce enough. You know what I mean? They just don't produce enough. Right, anyway, boys. We're only 0.1 of a minute away from 4.7. Oh, we've actually just done it. Nice. Hold on, why am I assigning shifts? Oh, is it because I sold the bus that was assigned? I think it was because I sold that bus that was assigned. Right, we've actually done that that little task there, which I'm surprised we did get done. Wow, okay. Um, it might have unlocked some new research in, reduced the wear and tear. We've got over 800 trophies, which also could mean I can now reduce the next stage of our mobile app, which is going to play a huge part in us. Reducing those service wait times. Uh, no broken buses, so we're okay there right now. We will have to add 
charges to my overspill. Um, now, I can move these eventually when I do need to sort it out. So, me spending the money here is not wasted. Alright, keep it going. And then those photo system things. <laughs> I still can't say the name of them. I'm going to now build one everywhere and I'm going to put myself into debt. Okay, I'm going to put myself into the debt real quick by 100 grand for the sake of having those, for the sake of seeing what we can now produce. Now, we're still not producing enough for what we're currently buying. It's crazy, isn't it? It's like, oh, how much more do we need? How much more do we actually need? But it does put my daily production up to 20,000. We did buy 30,000 on the previous day. So, we hope to see that number be a little bit less. But it is a case of, you know, where we can, we are going to have to keep buying or building more of these little systems right now. Going to do a nice little section down there. Hedge it all off so you can't see it. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I could put something more in there, but I want to put, like, trees down. Ooh. I do like these trees. That makes it very bushy. I like it. I like it quite a lot. That's very nice. It ruins all my vibe now, doesn't it? <laughs> we'll leave it anyway, boys. We'll leave it anyway. I'm in so much debt right now. I'm in so much debt. So let's just focus on making the money back. Now, we did get all that stuff delivered, but it didn't really fill up as much as you would assume it would fill up. We've got the new um, updated mobile app as well, so we should see a reduce in people coming in. But it means nothing today because today is Saturday. We're just generally going to get less people coming in anyway. Now, I could think about reducing the ticket prices. It would mean I make less money. But I'd also get less complaints. Um, another one is um, training our bus drivers, but also increasing our or upgrading our bus stops as well. Now, upgrading our bus stops is a lot difficult to do. It's not as easy as you think. Um, upgrade bus stop. Oh, I can upgrade all of them. Oh, good God. Good God. Can I do it? No, I don't have enough money. Luckily, I do not have enough money. Otherwise, I was willing to put myself into so much more debt. I was willing to put myself into so much more debt right there, boys. Oh my goodness, mate. Someone take my credit card away from me right now. Um, right. Just looking at what we're now producing. We're about, we've, now, we've now technically, put, at this point, produced more than we did on the previous day. We should be able to produce on a full day 21,000. You won't do that today because obviously I bought solar panels halfway through the day. Uh, we sold more today than the previous day. It should also mean that we buy less as well. Yeah, it's, it's such an expensive task, isn't it? I think our service center is okay for now. It's such an expensive thing to do. Right, we ain't going to complete these goals until Monday. Because the weekend pretty much gives us nothing in return. So, how much have we made today so far? There's a huge difference we've made today versus yesterday. Huge difference. Now, I won't reduce ticket prices just yet. I can't believe how much we've spent. Don't need a loan or anything like that. We're just going to wait it out until Monday. So I need a bit more money coming in right now to be able to do the expansions that I want to get done. Now, still a few little areas left that we've got to expand. I might as well just build the area for it. So these are going to be offices. Oh, didn't need to go that far. Let's build the office to there. Delete you to get the hedges back in that I'd now just oofed. So just putting them in, so at least the building's in place. Oh, that's awkward, isn't it? I didn't really get that little section done. Offices, build offices. There we go. Now, I could just get the walls in. Nothing stopping me doing that. Right, all the way down 
in this line here. There we go. I'm going to assume it goes there, right? Yeah. But funnily enough for me, I... <laughs> I've gone through here like an idiot. There we go. Delete you. Delete you and wall. There we go. So all the walls are now in. And we just need to sort the doors out real quick. So sorting doors out. It'll be a door there, door there, door there, door there, door there, door there. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. So the rooms are in. I just got to populate them with what I want to populate them with. But there we go. And we're out of debt. So as quick as we went into debt is as quick as we got out of debt right now. So why is my next research and availability? So mobile app, we need a thousand trophies. Reducing the bus wear and tear, uh, we need 940. All the electric stuff there is pretty much now all done. Uh, extending the company premises, I need 30 grand to do that. And I will build more bus um, kind of parking spaces to get more of those photo systems. Even though we not, might not fill them, we need to do it. We do need to do it. But uh, we've produced so much electricity. Actually, we might produce. No, we're not. Wait, why does the South Produce keep changing? I don't know. <laughs> Are we still producing in the night time? I have no idea, but it's got no current production. So how's that even changing? But we definitely bought less and we produced more. So the next day is going to be very interesting. Very interesting. So our rating's slightly gone back up again. Our environmental bonus is 61%. Uh, and we'll see what now comes of this moving forward. So I'm assuming there's a few more buses still doing the rounds. Yeah. It will be nice as well to build an external depot somewhere. Because I could also use an, utilize an external depot just solely being solder panels <laughs> as a way to kind of produce more electricity. Which I do find that absolutely hilarious. I really do. But yeah, we're, we're over halfway of selling the tickets. All right, there we go. We fast forward. And now what is potentially going to be the worst day of the week. Uh, you know what? Yes, I will train you up. We will train them up. So I'll be able to complete the weekly ticket holders if I reduce the ticket prices, but we'll wait till the Monday anyway when we start getting more people kind of on the buses. Now, when it comes to staff, we will have to think about training them eventually. Uh, this person's stressed. Why are you so stressed? What are you so stressed for? Any broken buses? No. There's no need to be stressed. Go take a break. Go take a break right now. Damn fool, getting stressed for no reason. Now, I just want to double check. No buses need upgrades. No, no buses need upgrades. Um, Destiny need a break. Uh, no. <laughs> I tell one employee to take a break. I tell the other one, you may not take a break. What type of boss am I right now? What type of boss am I? An evil one. An evil one, boys. An evil one. Now, electricity... We'll start... Look how much we've bought be, before we even start producing. It is kind of crazy, isn't it? It is kind of crazy. What did we make on the previous day? I mean, it's still a lot of profit. I mean, not profit when you look at my investments. Yeah, we don't talk about those. We don't talk about those. But at least I'm debt-free. At least I am debt-free. So, a new dawn, a new day... And new stuff that we got to try and complete. So. So, 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 so. We are going to see an expansion going more north. But I don't know if I should preempt it. Oh, we just lost. Oh, whoa, we just lost that altogether. 
Well, that weren't fun, was it? I might change the design of um, the bus parking spots. So we just got to sign out that final assignment there. So tomorrow, which is a Monday, a sign all, we're all good. We've got so many. I bet there's a couple of buses there that don't have any assignments, right? Or they're just nicely spread out. They're just nicely spread out where all buses can take breaks. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's pretty good to see. Are we now producing electricity? Yeah, that will just get bigger throughout the day as it gets more and more sunny. As that current production number just keeps increasing. So, it's a case of we are just literally waiting for Monday. We are literally waiting for Monday. Now, everywhere looks good. There could be a possibility where I hook this loop up here going down to here. I know we kind of have that loop over there hooked up, but hooking that one up down to here will be a good thing. Running down this, is there more, many points of interest? Not really. It's just about kind of giving the coverage to all these residential buildings is the main thing that we need to do for that. But that will need more buses anyway. But I do want to start expanding the map. I want to start expanding the map is something that we probably are going to get done shortly anyway. We have a heavily reduced amount of people coming into our service center now. Which is going to bode well for the details of it not being overcrowded. The friendliness we do need to work on. We do need to start thinking about training up all our staff. Which is a big, a big ask in many ways. Train... I mean, friendliness has nothing to do with training. Applied to all service. What is this? Oh, is this for... I think that's to do with... Um... What do you call it? Hourly wage, isn't it? Skill is already at max. They're an expert. So, this is what we eventually just got to go through, is training everybody. But it's a lot harder than you think. They're a novice. I can't train them. Oh, they're currently on training. But I won't do them all straight away. It's just something that we've got to work towards getting done. Friendliness, I don't know how you sort friendliness out. Is friendliness a trait in which you can increase? I don't know how that works. Now we'll train the mechanics. Right now. Researchers are the ones that have the least amount of stress. Which is so funny. Um... We'll apply... No, we'll train all the cleaners as well. It's just about making our depot as efficient as it can be. That's all it's... what well, it's about doing. That's what it's about doing, boys. Do, 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 do. No, I think they just kind of become more friendly and more skilled over time the longer they work for you. So I think it's just a natural progression, isn't it? It is a natural progression. So bus stop quality is something that I want to increase shortly anyway. But it's going to cost me 100, what is it, 132000 to be able to do it. And I'm definitely doing it. All right, service wait time is so much better. The overcrowdedness is so much better right now. Which has made us actually jump up to a 4.4 rating. I don't think we've ever been that high. We've never ever been that high. It might now go down a bit. Now I've sent more people on vacation. Not on vacation, on training. But yeah, it's never been that high. All right, what are we on so far? Not looking great. Electricity production. Looking better. It is looking better. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. We will keep an eye on it. So, right. I'm going to save these for another episode. Because there's some stuff I want to do with all that stuff anyway. There is some stuff I want to get done with it. Um, I need a 1,000. I need 940. So the next one's 940. So I need to complete both of these before I can even get that next one. I'm going to upgrade all of our bus stops. We're not far off having the money to do it. And then that will satisfy that rating. Here, bus stop quality. It should put us to a five star then. Not far off having the money. I can't wait till Monday comes because then we start making real money. Because look at the difference. Half a million versus 150 grand. Ah, oh, you gotta hate the weekend. You gotta hate the weekend, right? Right, we've got enough right now to upgrade all of our bus stops. So upgrade all of our bus stops. Bam. Oh, wait, that was only to the next level. What's wrong with this one? So satisfaction is low. Oh, now I need a quarter of a million to go to level three. Okay, fine. I get it. I get it. I get it. Right. That would at least increase the... Yeah, to four. To a four star. So upgrade them all again to a uh, five star. Yeah, damn. Oh, I don't have my electricity plan with green electric. Contracts. We're okay with this, right, aren't we? Electricity plan. So we'd have to pay more for electric for it to be 100% green energy. Right, how does that sort out now in my, my rating? 89%. Holy smokes. But I've got to pay more for it, though. That's the downside of it. That is the downside. But I do I should then get more of an environmental boost, right? Is, is, is that how that works then? Again, not 100% sure on that. But talk about improving the company quite rapidly. I've done so much work there to increase the, the company's ratings. But I also can't believe how many solar panels I've now just actually purchased at the same time. That is ridiculous. I don't think it's even possible to, to sort this out. Uh, like spaces, single photo systems and ground produce many products. Well, spark spaces, uh, depending on size, produce uh, 90 to 168 kilowatts. I've got to produce thousands upon thousands of kilowatts. That's how much I've got to do right now. Anyway, the, the saving grace is Sunday is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. And it's where the real fun begins, boys. So we should complete that goal of selling all those tickets, get a nice chunk, a nice reward to do more some more researching. But um, yeah, I think next episode, we'll look at expanding the company premises a bit more. Expanding the map is going to be a big one. We're going to head down south, hopefully get closer to the airport, maybe. I just don't know how much it's going to unveil. Honestly, don't know how much he's going to unveil. So that would be pretty interesting to see what we can kind of technically get. But um, yeah, good coverage. Quite happy with it. Um, if you are enjoying this, boys, smash that like button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe. But until next time, as the company is going to expand on the map for the first time. Smash a like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. I'll see you all soon. So, good. Uh, bye.